Hello everyone, welcome to our channel learning Arabic through pronunciation. Today I'm going to practice with you reading words with a sukun, meaning that the words uh, consist of words uh, of letters that have vowel and have sukun. And the sukun will be on the middle and at the end of the words. And as you can see here, the sukun can be on uh, one letter and can be on two, and there is no rule for the presence of the pronunciation. It's about the word itself. The word itself may consist of one uh, sukun, or the one letter with sukun, or two, or any any rule. As it, there is no rule for that. So I will uh, revise with you what I mentioned about reading the layers with the sukun in my previous video. So, uh, as you can see here, this is a list of layers, okay? And um, this is to remind you how to pronounce the layer with the sukun. So, uh, my main strategy that I've told you about, and as we all Arabic uh, Arabic speakers do uh, without thinking that we take the first letter of the name of the letter, okay, and then we press on it while pronouncing it, or we may take two letters, okay, of that letter. But this is in some cases, not in all cases, but in most cases, we take the first letter of the name of the letter and we press on it, like that. The first three examples here are Alif and Ba and Ta. We took the first letter, which is A, as in Alif, so it becomes A. And Ba, as in the second uh, example, so it becomes Ba, Ba. And Ta becomes Ta, Ta. What we did that we take the we took the first layer which is A and P and T and we pressed on it as as if we are pronouncing it twice so it becomes like a, a and p and t like that the third and fourth and fifth example uh, sorry uh, the third and fourth and fifth example we took the first two layers okay so these are in the layers kha and th and shin what we did that we took the first two layers which is uh, and th and sh and we pressed on it like that, okay. This is the way we pronounce the letters with the sukun. So after I reminded you how to pronounce the letters uh, individually uh, in the, the sukun form or in the silent form, now we will put them on two letters in the middle. So what is the strategy of pronouncing the sukun in the middle? So what we do, as, as, as I mentioned here, we pronounce the layer together with the sukun, together with a layer with a vowel that precedes it. Meaning that, you know, the layer with the sukun cannot, is, is difficult or t it's tough to pronounce it uh, individually. So we pronounce it with, together with a layer with a vowel that precedes it. Uh, okay, as we will see, as and, and as I have mentioned in my previous video, we will we take a layer like alif for example with a fatha over it and we say as and ash and like that so it becomes uh, easier to pronounce and then we pronounce the rest of the word separately as we do normally okay so let's start by applying that strategy on the words we have three words fawqa and tahta and ba'da fawqa means above that means below, بعد means after, okay? So what we did here, that we uh, divided the words into two parts. The first part is the letter uh, with the sukun, okay? Together with a letter that precedes it with uh, a short a vowel over it. And in these three examples, the short vowel is the fatha. These the, the the letters are written with a fatha over them, and then uh, followed by a letter with the sukun. Okay, and then the second part is the rest of the word, which is the last letter here, which is because the word here it consists of three letters. So let's start in here. 
the first example is folk. What we do here, that the word consists of three layers. What are these layer layers? The first one is fa, okay, and the second one is wow, okay, and the last layer is qaf. So we will pronounce the fa with the wow together, as the fa has a fatha over it. Okay, it's a short vowel, has a short vowel on it. So it becomes fau. Fau. Okay. And then we will pronounce the last letter individually. Okay. Which is the rest of the word. So it becomes ka. Ka with a fatha comes ka. So it becomes like that. Fau ka. Fau ka. Say the second example, which is tahta. Tahta also consists of three layers, which are ta and ha and ta okay so um, the first part of the word is the the letter ta together with ha which has to sukun over it so we 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 will pronounce this letter together because that it has a short vowel and the ha has a sukun so the sukun the letter of the sukun cannot be pronounced individually so we will pronounce a letter with a fatha before it so it becomes like that. Tah. Tah. And then the last layer, which is ta, has a fatha over it. It becomes ta. So it becomes like that. Tah. Ta. Tah. Ta. Meaning pillow. We have the last example here, which is ba'da. Ba'da means after. Okay. Ba'da consists of three layers, which are ba. And ain and del. So we will pronounce the first two letters together, which are ba and ain. So it becomes like that ba, ba, okay. And the last letter, which is del, becomes de, ba, de, ba, de. So fau ka means above, ta te means below. Ba, de means after. So let's uh, read more examples, but uh, these are nouns, okay? So these are three nouns, which are shamsu means sun, telgu means snow, kaidu means track. Okay, so let's. Uh, uh, divide the word into two parts. Okay, the first part is the word, uh, the layer with the sukun, together with a layer that precedes it, and that layer that precedes it has a um, short vowel, and in this case, it's a fatha. Okay, and the, the and we will read the second part of the word individually, which is the rest of the word, and in this case, the, it is only one layer because the layer, the word consists of three layers. Okay, so the first one, Shamsu, consists of Sheen and Sin and Mim and Sin. Okay, Sheen, uh, we will pronounce it with uh, the Mim, so it becomes Shem. Shem. Okay, like that. And the last letter, which is Sin, has a dumb over it, so it becomes pronounced as Su. Su. Su Shem and Su. We will combine these together to pronounce the whole word so it becomes Shem Su. Let's do the same on the second word. Second word is Telgu. Telgu consists of three letters The, Lem, and Gim. So the first two letters, The and Lem, we will pronounce them together so it becomes Tel. Tel. And the last Ler, which is game with a dhamma over it, go. So tell, this is the first word, and go, this is the second word. Combining them together becomes tell, go. Tell, go. The last letter here is k do. K do consists of three layers. The first layer is kev, okay. With a fatha becomes k. The second letter is ya, okay, and the ya here and the letter ya 
is lit is written in a different way uh, when it is uh, uh, when it is at the uh, all is separated or it is written individually okay it's written in a different way than when it is in the middle of the word okay so it, as you can see here uh, yeah has two uh, layers below it okay and uh, sorry two uh, dots below it to become k okay and the last layer here is then then we with the over it becomes do so it becomes like that k do k do k means track so sham su means sun then gu means snow k do means track okay let's read some verbs with with there's uh, with the sukun on them so we have three examples here yak ra means reads he reads okay because uh, this is for uh, this yeah refers to he okay yes ma means he listens yagles means he sits okay this is a verb in the present symbol form okay so uh, you can see here this uh, consists this uh, these verbs consist of four layers and there are two layers with the sukun in them okay the first uh, layer with the sukun is the second layer and the second layer with the sukun is the last layer okay and they, we read them in the same strategy together uh, we will read the layer with the sukun together with a layer that precedes it that has a short vowel on it so let's read the first example. Yak. Yakra here consists of uh, four layers. Ya, Khaf, so it becomes Yak, and Ra, and Alif, so it becomes Ra. Yak, and Ra. Yak, Ra. Yak, Ra. Okay. So the main strategy, or to in order uh, to pronounce the letters easily and uh, fluently, that you know the name of the letter and know how to pronounce it together with the short vowels and together with the sukun. Okay, how to stop on the letter and pause on it when you see the sukun. How to uh, open up your mouth when you pronounce the letter with the fatha over it and so on, like that. The second example is yesma. Yesma becomes like that. Yeah, with a fatha over it becomes yeah. And uh, seen uh, with the sukun becomes s like that. So it becomes yes. Yes. Okay. The second part of the word yesma is meme and the ain. So meme is pronounced with a fatha becomes me. And ain with the sukun becomes a. Ah. So it becomes like that. Na. Na. So. Yes, okay, the first part, and na, second part. Yes, na. Yes, ma. And the last word here is yaglis. Yaglis means sits. He sits, okay. So the first is a consists of four letters. Ya, yeah, and gim, and lam, and sin. So... The first, uh, we will pronounce the first two layers together, okay, because we, we take each layer with the sukun together with a layer that precedes it only with a short vowel, so it becomes, yeah, with a gim, becomes yag, yag, okay. And the second part of the word is uh, lam with the sin, lam has a kasra so below it, so it becomes li, and the sin with a sukun becomes s, like that. So, lis, lis, okay, so, yeg, lis, yeg, lis. So, let's see the words, okay, that have sh were letters with short, with the short vowels over them, but the short vowels are not fatha. The short vowels are the maokasra. So, let's see here. We have four words. Mil ku, ping tu, ru, 
مش بو ملكو means position بنتو means girl عمرو means age and رشبو means grass okay so the same strategy ميم with the كسرة becomes me and then becomes ل so مل مل and the last letter is cap so becomes كو because it has ضمة so becomes مل كو okay مل كو means position the second word is girl girl means بين تو بين تو okay as you can see here consists of باء with a كسرة becomes بي and نون with a as you can becomes ن so it becomes بين بين so we will pronounce them together بين okay this is our first The second word is ta with the dhamma, which is to. Okay, so it becomes like that. Bin, to. Bin, the first part, and to. Bin, to. Bin, to. The third example, which is umbu. Umbu consists of uh, three letters, which are ayin and mim and ra. So ayin together with the mim becomes um. Um, because the ayin has a dhamma, so it becomes ru, and mim has a sukun, so it becomes mm, so um, um, okay, this is the first part, and the second part is ra with a dhamma, so it becomes ru, um, ru, and the last um, ru means age, okay, and the last example here is ujbu, ujbu consists of three layers also, which is ayin and sheen and ba, ayin consists of Ru, uh, oh, sorry, it's pronounced as ru because it has a dhamma over it, and she becomes sh like that. So rush, bu, rush, bu, like that. Right. So mil ku bin tu um ru rush bu. Okay. One of the trickiest letters uh, on pronunciation is the words with the hands. Okay. And uh, it can be trickier when the sukun is on the uh, hamza. So let's see here. Um, as you can see here, these letters with uh, with alif with has hamza over them. Okay. Ra su, fa su, di bu, ka su. So we will pronounce them separately. So ra means head. And fats means X and Deb means wolf and cats means cup. So what we did here, okay, that we take word like rats, rats, consists of three layers, okay, made the same strategy. Ra with a fatha becomes ra, and alif with a sukun becomes a, so it becomes ra, okay. And the last layer seen has a sukun, so it becomes s, so ra, s, ra. The same strategy. Same we will do in the second letter. Fats, fats, fa and alif and c. Okay, fa with alif becomes fa, and the last letter is seen s, so it becomes like that. Fa, s, fa, s. Same goes with the b, the b. This is hamza with an upper. Go like that. Hamza with an upper. Um. Um, or Hamza on Anabra. Uh, in, so this is the literal meaning. So we put the Hamza on the uh, yeah. So it becomes like that. Hamza on Anabra. So it becomes like that. De bu, de bu. And the same here in ke su. Okay. Um, I want to make make it longer, so I will move to the way we pronounce the words with the sukun, but this time at the end. Okay. So the strategy of pronouncing the sukun at the end is pronounce the letter before uh, the letter, the last letter normally. Okay. Because the sukun is on the last layer, so we pronounce the word the layers normally, and then we pause on the last layer and press with it on that tongue, with our tongue on pronouncing it. The same way we pronounce the layer with the sukun in the middle. Okay.
but this time we will emphasize uh, or emphasize on the last layer okay and press on it so let's see our last uh, four examples these are up ucht leif daug okay we did the same what we did here father ab means father ucht means sister leif means lion and daug means husband what we do here that we took the last layer and we pressed on it uh, so the last layer here is ba ba has b uh, it becomes p so like that so i have written these two p because we press on that layer so it becomes up up okay like that the second word is ucht so it has a t sound like that ucht and the third example is leith leith so it has the th sound and the last word is the g it has that sound okay so that's the end of our lesson today i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope and i'm so sorry because i made it too long but um, if you have understood them uh, the point don't i i recommend I, well, it's, so it's, it's not important to watch the whole video the main thing that you can pronounce the words with that so cool. if you have any uh, anything you want to say any uh, comment on the way i teach or anything please tell me in the comments i will be happy to know